Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to demonstrate how we can withdraw Hedera HBAR coins from our gate.io account going to our Hedera HBAR hashpack wallet, okay? As we go along with this uh, tutorial, we're also going to define what are uh, checksums in our Hedera account uh, hashpack wallet, okay? Now, based on our pre-recorded video, we have a total balance of uh, 301.57 HBAR on our uh, gate.io spot account, okay? So what we're going to do here is to click on the withdraw button so that we can uh, withdraw our HBAR going to our Hedera HBAR hashpack wallet. Okay, so after we click on uh, withdraw, we're going to select the withdrawal method. So we're going to click on on-chain withdrawal. So we're now on the on-chain withdrawal view of our uh, gate.io account, wherein we have the uh, HBAR coin selected. So what we're going to do is to simply uh, fill up and complete the uh, needed information so that we can proceed with the withdrawal, okay? Now, uh, we switch to our Hedera HBAR hashpack wallet. Now about the checksum, these are the numbers which can be found on the top uh, left portion of our hashpack wallet. Uh, underneath our uh, Hedera HBAR wallet address name, okay? Now, based on the information we can see here on our Hashpack wallet, we have a small amount of a 0 0.439 uh, HBAR uh, equal to uh, 1.18 Philippine Peso. Based on the date and time of our pre-recorded video, considering the volatility of the cryptocurrency market. So what we're going to do here is to click on the Receive button on the lower left so that we can uh, copy our uh, Hedera HBAR deposit address, okay? Our Hedera HBAR uh, deposit address will pop up. So we'll just need to click on copy address to clipboard. Okay, after we click on copy address to clipboard, uh, we will be prompted to copy our address, okay? You'll notice here uh, we have two options. It's either to copy our Hedera a HBAR deposit address with no checksum or copy our Hedera HBAR deposit address with checksum, okay? If we're going to click on the hyperlink about what is a checksum, uh, we will be redirected to the uh, Hedera HBAR hashpack blog, okay? So what are Hedera account checksums? Introducing account checksums. You may have noticed that your account in hashpack has a dash and five letters after the end of the numbers. Previously, the Hedera account looked like 0 0.0.123456, but now it displays as 0.0.123456-ABCDE. Okay, so a checksum will be helpful in ensuring that we don't forget a digit and unintentionally sending money to an incorrect account, okay? Overall, this feature aims to improve the security and accuracy of transactions on the network by helping to prevent manual data entry mistakes and address uh, similar errors, okay? The added letters are completely optional, okay? So uh, regardless if we uh, copy our uh, HBAR deposit address with no checksum or without a checksum, uh, it shouldn't affect the uh, deposit or withdraw process from our Hashpack wallet to any exchange or other wallets, okay? For as long as we're ensuring ourselves that uh, whichever data we're trying to uh, paste or input uh, to and from another exchange are correct and accurate, okay? The number only address still works without the added checksum, okay? So you see, uh, but we encourage uh, using the checksum whenever possible, okay? So that makes sense. The new letters are totally safe and part of the Hedera network, added to help reduce typos and user errors. So based on my own experience, guys, uh, whenever I do uh, transactions uh, to and from our Hedera HBAR Hashpack wallet to any other exchanges or wallets, uh, it always works even if I don't uh, use or uh, copy the uh, Hashpack wallet address with checksum, okay? So even if I just uh, copy and paste the Hedera HBAR address with no checksum whenever I do any deposit and withdraw transactions uh, based on the exchanges that I have tried, namely uh, Gate.io, uh, Binance, and Bybit. Everything works even without using 
uh, a checksum, okay? Uh, however, based on the uh, recommendation of the Hedera HBAR uh, article uh, that we have just read, whenever it's possible, it's gonna be helpful and more accurate to use a checksum, okay? Okay, so uh, we went back to our uh, copy address uh, option and we copied the Hedera HBAR deposit address with no checksum. Uh, we're pasting it on our on-chain withdrawal on gate.io. Okay, we're selecting the Hedera HBAR network. And as you can see here, uh, we're not placing any tag, so we leave it blank. And I decided to uh, withdraw uh, the uh, full amount of 301.57 uh, Hedera HBAR from our Geek.io account going to our uh, Hedera HBAR Hashback wallet. So we'll just need to click on the next option here. So after we click on next, uh, we will be prompted to uh, input our uh, email code and Google Authenticator code, including our fund password, to proceed with the withdrawal, okay? And as you can see here on the HBAR on-chain withdrawal, it's now on status uh, processing. Okay, so we're trying to refresh our Geek.io and we're toggling between our Geek.io account and our Hashback wallet. So we're only required to uh, pay or be charged of one HBAR transaction fee in order to withdraw a HBAR from Geek.io going to our Hashback wallet. Amazing. Okay, so while we're trying to refresh our gate.io, the status uh, changed from done and blockchain pending in 30 minutes. Okay. Now for this one, you'll notice here that if I'm going to go back to my hashback wallet, I'm going to receive the 301 H bar. Okay, so you can see here uh, from uh, 1 peso, it now increased to uh, 811.92 uh, Philippine pesos or uh, 301.016 uh, uh, HBAR, okay? So if we're going to uh, look at the history or the transaction records of our uh, Hashpack wallet, uh, you'll also notice here that uh, we have uh, a footprint. So about two minutes ago, uh, we received uh, 300.57 HBAR, okay? So this is pretty much uh, correct. And at the same time, uh, whenever we... Uh, initiate a uh, withdraw transaction on our Hashpack wallet, it triggers a staking reward. So if we're going to click on the more information or the question mark icon, there's a note here that any transaction that changes your HBAR balance will trigger staking rewards, okay? Excellent. Okay, so if we're also going to click on the uh, magnifying glass icon, uh, we have a detailed information of the uh, withdraw transaction we made from Geek.io going to our Hashpack wallet. Now, disclaimer statement for our Involve Asia and Cryptocurrency YouTube channel. All the information on our website is published in good faith and for general information purpose only. Any action that you take upon the information you find on our website, Involve Asia and Cryptocurrency YouTube channel, is strictly at your own risk. So more fruitful gains everyone. I'll see you again on our next vlog. Bye for now.